the field forming up for the standing start here at the St. Petersburg Grand Prix presented by Kasit. The round two for the GTS Championship. Pole sitter Andrew Wakulani brings the Phoenix Performance Mustang up to its spot. Revs are up, and there we go. Great start by Aschenbach, as well as Martin Barkey. And that looks like Baptista once again, Cal. He did it with a rolling start. He's got another great start from the standing start, but here comes Barkey. Yeah, Barkey down to the inside. He slots into that fourth position. Tony Gates was there, oh. a little nudge. There was contact there. Oh, Nate Stacy's got involved with Jason Bell. Parker Chase really close. Nice start for Lawson Archenbach from the pole yesterday. He had the early lead, but had to give it up. And look at this, Aquilani looking down to the inside. Does he get it done? No, not enough. This is exactly yeah. where he made the move yesterday, leaping over that inside curb, widens the radius of the corner a little bit, gives him more exit speed. Aquilani's led a cut and paste of yesterday, Boy. moves to the lead. Really tight section of the racetrack right here. While we were in break, we ended up going under caution, and it was for a, uh, a bit of a moment here from the number two, Jason Bell, uh, trying to make up some time, Cal. Lost it, it looked like, at the exit of 12. Just tapped the wall. This is go for it time sprint, and look at that. Aqualani right to the middle of the track, wanting to control his destiny into the VP Racing Fuels acceleration zone. We are back look to green, Barkey. look at Barkey. He's got a great run there. He even had to check up a little bit because the front row didn't go, or the front two didn't go. Oh! Barkey to the inside of Parker Chase. It's going to be tight on Arshad Bell. Oh, he clips It him. was really tight. That was nearly a big one. Just got in there super deep, overcommitted a little bit. Oh, we got a problem here for the Panos as well. Looks like the right rear tire has been cut down, and technically, and the number nine is Ziegler, has had a moment as well. There's Anthony Mantella, who was pulled off as well. There you see the red bumper clip. That could be an issue for Aschenbach. Here's, first of all, a look at the uh, restart again, Cal. Watch Mantella here. Yeah, he just dives to the inside. He cuts across the rear flank of Parker Chase there. Just can't get it slowed down enough and gets into the right rear corner of Lawson Aschenbach. Then there's the contact between Mantella Kurtz and Ian James. Certainly, Barkey was looking awfully tough, and I think uh, Anthony Mantell himself was uh, coming alive. Now both of those cars are in trouble. Heading into the VP Racing Fuels acceleration zone, and the green comes out nice and early. And it's going to be interesting to see how this settles. And we got that group of six running the inside line. Baptista to the outside, Aschenbach to the outside. Really deep on the brakes there, looks to the outside. Look at Monte Calvi down to the inside of Baptista. That was close. Stacy is now in the mix yep. after that disastrous opening lap. Didn't have a good opening lap yesterday either, so now he has a chance to rebound here with this yeah. reset. Everybody using that curb, but especially those GT4 Camaros and Mustangs. Like a Monte Carlo yeah. there. He's got some pace. He can roll some speed through that final corner. Baptista without really showing great racecraft here. And oh, Monte really Carlo. Wow. Can he keep control? it together? Takes it in really deep. He's out in the grave. May just hang on here. Now, let's take a look at this move here. Look at this. Looks to the outside. Baptista just kind of the natural Ooh, line there to watch. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what happened. Wow. Granny extends the lead over the previous lap by about a car length. Final lap of round two, GTS, presented by KO and a problem. It's Cameron Majari in the number seven Krug Sport car, and he's gotten into the barrier. We are full course caution. Let's take a look and see what happened here with Cameron. Right behind. Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure if Barkey had got to the inside of him there, whether that was a pass, and he just got out in the gray and couldn't get it turned in. So Andrew Aquilani doubles up here at St. Pete. 